everybody, welcome back to our food, memories, and stories segment. Today we are making blender salsa, which is the perfect remedy for a winter in New England <laughs> that is turning into spring but isn't quite spring yet. I'm ready for fresh fruits and vegetables. I eat salsa all year round. It's just, I, I can't help it, I need it. When I think of blender salsa, I think of home, I think of a sunny day. I think of my mom coming back from the store with a big bag of fresh, um, almost warm tortilla chips and um, maybe a bunch of different ingredients for dinner and then her pulling out the blender and putting in tomatoes and onions and jalapeno and garlic and cilantro and a bunch of lime and sort of blending it up, tasting it a couple of times, pouring it into a big bowl and um, you know my entire family <laughs> just descending upon the bowl of chips and salsa and eating it up. And uh, that's what I want to recreate today. I'm really excited. It's a sunny day. It's freezing, but it's sunny, and um, I'm going to make some really amazing salsa, and then I can store it in a locked container for the rest of the week, and we have this really fresh salsa that we can use for the rest of the week. quality about this blender salsa is that it's so fast and it's impressive <laughs> so um, you know if you want to like bring this to your office or if you're having people over it's just something that you can throw together really easily to your taste or to your guests tastes and you have this homemade thing that probably took you five minutes to put together California, of course, we have a much longer season um, of fresh tomatoes than in New England. However, there are just times of year everywhere you go where you can grow a tomato. So blender salsa is the remedy to that. The reason why this blender salsa works so well during times when tomatoes are not really fresh and in season is because, of course, we're using canned tomatoes. So I got a couple of just, you know, whole peeled tomatoes. It doesn't really matter whatever kind of tomatoes you want to use. Those tomatoes are actually picked and, um, you know, canned at the height of freshness. So the great thing about using canned tomatoes, you know, in the middle of winter is that those tomatoes were really fresh at a time and they've been preserved. When I think about um, preserving fruits and vegetables, um, and I think of canning, this just reminds me of my grandma and grandpa in their garage where they, you know, where they park the cars um, and they have all of the regular garage stuff. They had all of these shelves that were full of cans and it would be, um, you know, apricots that they had picked off of the tree and preserve, um, tomatoes, other vegetables, things that they pickled, jams and jellies. There were just all of these cans that they would keep out in the garage and then they would have them to use through the times of year when, uh, you know, those fruits and vegetables weren't in season anymore. Salt is actually one of those things that typically I buy from the store just because it's a lot of vegetables, it's a lot of chopping, but a blender salsa is just really amazing because you take everything that you need, you throw it in a blender, and even though you might not get that really chunky consistency of a pico de gallo, um, it has all of those flavors. Another really amazing thing about blender salsa is that it's all to taste. So my cilantro hating friends, if you hate cilantro, no cilantro for you. It's not going to be anywhere near it. I personally love cilantro, so there's a ton of cilantro in my blender salsa. Um, if you are maybe 
I know people who are allergic to raw onion. You don't need to put onion in this. So it really lends itself to whatever your palette is. Another thing that I really love, which you probably know if you've watched any of my other videos that have any kind of spice related to it, um, I love a really spicy salsa. So I put, again, a ton of jalapeno. Thank you so much for watching this video today and hanging out with me. I hope that you um, enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas for making some of your own blender salsa. If you do make it or if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, please like this video, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos, and I will see you next week. Bye!